Madison, Chris, we're on the road to Sierra Tahoe where you can normally see for miles at this outlook point right now, just that heavy haze of smoke. We're seeing so much ash falling. It almost looks like snowflakes, but up the road, you talk to the folks inside this beloved ski resort and they say that they are prepared for uh, whatever comes. No, there's a lot of love for this resort and I know that a lot of people are going to fight real hard to make sure that it doesn't happen. Thinking about the worst case scenario for the slopes and lodges at the time honored Sierra at Tahoe Resort. Only a handful of Cal Fire officials and sheriff's deputies here to get the word out. This place is in the red zone. Mandatory evacuation. Be here till they tell me to get out. General Manager John Rice says most of the employees are long gone. From a mountaintop alert cam, you can see little more than smoke. It's just as heavy on the ground. It's right there. That's the top of Huckleberry Peak. As a Lake Valley Fire District board member, Rice has had access to the command center in Placerville. Just about every other person taps me on the shoulder and says, I learned how to ski there, or I have a pass there. So a guy yesterday was wearing a Sierra Tahoe face mask. It's a great place to have this close to our home. Evacuations happening at the base of the mountain too. James McLaughlin strapping in some of his vehicles and watering down his home one last time before getting out of Dodge. I feel for all the people that are out there in the parking lots, just waiting to see if their house is going to be there. And a lot of them know that it's not. I just got to hope that she's going to be OK. This man is a retired Seattle firefighter near the evacuation lines, helping homeowners secure their houses. I can see you're working hard. I see the sawdust on your hat. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, trimming trees with what you got. Meanwhile, back at Sierra at Tahoe, there's hope that the parking lots and slopes will act as a natural fire break. We've done just about everything we can do. It would be as prepared as we can be. Now, we believe at this point that everyone has left the resort, aside from maybe some fire uh, personnel who could still be up there. That includes, though, the general manager, John Rice, who left uh, moments ago. He says that this year the resort is celebrating its 75th anniversary. You talk to anybody, you know how much love there is for this place and what a loss it would be if the Caldor fire makes its way here. Oh, what a loss that would be. Yeah, Luke and everyone is pitching in to protect it. It's great to see. Luke, thank you.